I feared that the way he would rig the election, steal the election, really, was through illegal aliens. I feared that. I said it to you at least nine months ago, then six months ago. It's as though my prediction is coming true. And I want to talk about it. Well, here's a little fact for you. It came and went real quickly. This is why he's sure he's going to win the election. This is why he whispered to, to Medvedev with the uh, closed mic, when I'm reelected. This is why he said when I'm reelected again the other day. Did you hear that the Obama administration has sold the rights to processing our election results to a private company? That this critical component of a free election, the transparent tabulation of votes, will now be handled not by individual precincts but by a company over which we will have little control. Did you know about that? SOE, a U.S. elections results processing company, which has handled processing election results from over 500 American jurisdictions, has typically provided prompt reporting of precinct level results. However, SOE was recently acquired by SCYTL, a vote processing company based in Spain. In Spain. And this compromises the process enormously. Instead of producing election results trackable at the precinct level, Votes will be transmitted to a central server where they will be counted. The problem is that once the votes are merged, it will be impossible to go back and check their integrity at the local level. It is very likely that this is the final step in Barack Obama's corruption of the voting process. It has the promise of enabling him and his cohorts to control the outcomes of federal elections with no accountability. On top of that, it's one more step toward the formation of a global government. One of the aims of George Soros, whose puppet currently occupies the White House. Did you hear what I said? Do you think I made this up? Who owns SCYTL, a vote processing company based in Spain? There's not one American person on the board of directors of this company that controls the outcome of our voting. How is that possible? How could SOE, a U.S. elections results company, uh, be permitted to sell it to uh, a holding company in Europe? Who permitted this? How it is that our votes could be processed by a Spanish holding company. Where were, were the Republicans when this occurred? Why has there been no investigation by the Federal Elections Commission? Why are the American people in the dark about this? How do, you, how, do you, how do you live in a country where you don't even know if your vote is even counted properly? Why is it that the Associated Press doesn't even cover this story? I have 500 questions. Do you have any more, even one answer? Fresno, California, David, you want to call about the... Um, the vote rigging and the company that controls the counting of the votes. David, what do you know? Yes, sir. Mike, all right. When I heard you ask a question, I went ahead and did some Google searches. And it turns out the CEO of SEYTL, the former CEO of Global Net, was a major Obama contributor to his presidential campaign. Apparently, he contributed the maximum allowable amount to Obama's inauguration campaign. Oh, oh, I see.